What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Bechera family of power efficient processors. It has two cores in our hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD Graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in the Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Beach architecture as the Intel HD 4000 with Lenov, we're using the latest driver suite available. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive with the operating system and also a niche game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Redstone Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Call of Duty Ghosts. Shout out to the person who requested it, but before getting straight to the point, I have to express myself a bit. I have yet to test a game on the Intel Celeron N2840 that is more unstable in the freaking main menu and loading screens than Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm not kidding at all. Upon starting the game, the menu would freeze for a minute and it's really choppy and stuttery afterwards. Now, going to the config file of the game, which your reference is located in your game directory, players2, config.cfg, in it, you can change the setter intro value from 1 to 0, which can make the main menu a little bit more stable for some people. Oh, and guess what happens when you try to change the graphic settings? The game freezes. You have to use the magical control plus alt plus delete combo and sign out of your windows several times just to be able to adjust the bloody settings to optimal ones. Is the reason why I'll be changing the resolution from the configuration file instead later on. The screen mode that is slightly less unstable with our Celeron than the other screen modes in this game is windowed mode. So we will be using it for today. As for the loading screens, in general, thanks to the raw power of the Intel Champion N2840, it takes an eternity to get into any proper Call of Duty Ghosts action. Not to mention that for the first 2 to 3 minutes, even that freezes and potentially locks up the entire operating system for a while. However, I have discovered a method to reduce those loading times at least by a bit which I will share in the pinned comments down below. I forgot to mention, I'll be using the memory duct up once again. Set to clear the RAM when it reaches 90%. Ech, Celeron, Celeron. Why do you have to be so fucking slow? Let's finally get straight to the point.
hmm, I wonder if we can use even lower resolutions than 640 by 480 like in Black Ops 2, such as 400 by 300, just like I did in the Black Ops 2 video, just like in that video. Well, it seems like unlike Black Ops 2, Ghosts simply reverts to a higher resolution. You can tell it's definitely a higher resolution than 400 by 300 by looking at how small the MSI Afterburner overlay is. If it was actually 400 by 300, it would have been much bigger. So I think we're pretty much done for today. Maybe I should test Advanced Warfare next, because the same guy who requested Call of Duty Ghosts also requested Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. <laughs> ah.